<laughs> Come on, Bentley, can you just please cooperate with me? For every action, there shall be a consequence. You rolled in mud, you're getting washed. Now come on, you're almost done. <laughs> no matter how close to being finished I am, I don't care. I just want to get out of here. And you're done. See, that was easy. Well, what a high-maintenance horse he is. I really hope the foster horses aren't like this. Alright guys, time for be uh, what in the world is going on here? How am I supposed to get you guys in your stalls when you're all scattered out like this? I need a lead rope. Here girl, sorry you're the one that has to wear the lead rope. If they see you go into the barn, they're all gonna go into the barn. You're like the leader. Come on. Good night, Nova girl. Stella, we should secretly sleep in this barn tonight. Bella will never know. Chica, no. Do you remember the rules? We have to sleep in the full stalls until we're all grown up, and then we can move into this barn. Wow, you clearly don't know how to live. Well, you don't want to do it? Then you're missing out on life. You're missing out on all the fun adventures. Have fun, because I'm sleeping in this barn whether you like it or not. Shut the door, Stella. What am I, your slave? No, you are not my slave. Last time I checked, you were my annoying sister that was too afraid to do anything. Now shut my door or else I'm eating all your grain. That is not fair. I want some grain. All right, then shut my door. Good night, Bentley. Hey, girl, where's your sister? <laughs> oh, no, that's not a good sign. I'll go put you in your stall and I'll go look for Chica. Well, she's obviously not in here. Chica, where are you? She's not in here either. Where could she possibly go? Well, just checked the whole entire property and I did not see Chica anywhere. Gosh, can a day just go by without her getting into trouble? Oh no, Bella's coming. If I stay right up against this wall, I don't think she'll see me. Hey boy, sorry this is messing up your sleep schedule a little bit. I need you to go find Chica. A little bit? A little bit? Is she out of her mind? I was just in the middle of falling asleep. But fine, I'll look for Chica. Finding her is way more important than me falling asleep. <laughs> Chica, what in the world are you doing in this barn? Oh, calm down, Magnum. I'm just spending the night in here. I thought it would be fun. Well, it's not gonna be fun when Bella catches you. Okay, and? What do you mean, okay, and? Chica, if Bella catches you in this barn, she's never gonna let you walk outside alone. You're a pretty independent horse. I know you wouldn't like that. Okay, Magnum, whoever said that Bella was gonna catch me? I'll get away with this like it's nobody's business. Alright, you, you know what? Fine, you made your point. I won't tell Bella anything, but this will be the last time that you're doing this. Hey, boy. Looks like you didn't find Chica. It's fine. I'm sure she'll show up tomorrow morning. She's probably just down the fields. The property isn't that big for her to get lost on. She'll definitely be around tomorrow. Hey, why are you acting kind of suspicious? It's probably just because you're tired. Sorry for waking you up again. Good night, Magnum. <coughs> Yay, the foster horses are here. Wow, this place is so extravagant. I will not step foot out there unless that grass is two inches above my hooves. Oh, Molly, would you stop being so eerie? It's all so wonderful. Come on out. Hey, Molly, I brought you a lead rope because I heard you were very picky. Why don't you guys follow me? Come on. I hope this barn isn't too small for you. Um, what is she talking about? This barn is huge. It's called sarcasm, Molly. Chica, there you are. I was looking everywhere for you. Why in the world are you in this barn? You are in big trouble, girl. Aw, oh, come on. I got caught. Come on out, girl. You are not leaving this barn until I finish up with these horses, and then I'll take you to where you belong. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And who in the world are these other horses? Come on in, Molly. <laughs> no, no, no. That stall has to be at least 140 inches in order for me to step foot in there. Molly, what's the matter? Come on in. It's going to be okay. Come on, Savannah. 
Well, Savannah, this is your stall. Now, before I forget, let me go get your blanket so you're not cold tonight. <laughs> oh, yes, I love blankets. They're so affable and soft. I cannot wait. I love it here already. There you go, girl. Hope you have a good night. <laughs> oh, she's absolutely right. I can already feel that tonight's going to be astonishing. Let's go, Chica. <laughs> no, I want to stay in this barn. I don't want to go back to my stupid pasture. I hate it there. I want to stay in this barn. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, then. I'll just go get the lead rope. Chica, come on, girl. It's not that bad. We're literally just going back to your stall. Uh, she's being so annoying. I don't want to go. Ugh, Chica, I'm not going to play these stupid games with you. Come on. Chica, you broke the lead rope. Do you know how hard it is to break a lead rope? Yes, I broke the lead rope. I broke the lead rope. Chica, what is wrong with you? Get over here. You are going to be in so much trouble after this. Haha, <laughs> she'll never catch me. Ugh. Come here. Oh, quit being dramatic and get up. Ugh, what just happened? Now I would love to leave the lead rope on you as a punishment after what you just did, but it's probably best I take it off. In your stall now. <laughs> Jeez, Savannah, step back at least six inches. This is my side of the eating bin and that's your side. Stay back. Oh, my bad. Anyways, how did you sleep in the barn last night? Oh, my sleep was just amazing. You don't even understand. But what stinks is that we're only spending five days here. It's just terrible. I can't imagine any place better than this. It makes me so, so sad. All right, then. Bentley, what are you looking at? I'm looking at the other horses over there, trying to figure out where in the world they came from and when. I woke up and they were just here. Like, how did that happen? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. But I think Chica knows something about them. Why don't we go ask her? Hey, Chica. What can you tell me about those horses over there? I actually don't know who they are. All I know is that they just kind of randomly appeared here last night. I'll go ask them. <laughs> you look like that horse that was causing all that trouble last night. Stay away from me. I want nothing to do with you. Um, okay. Uh, Molly, would you stop? You're confusing the poor thing. It's such an amazing pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, but I actually just had a question. Oh, the little ones and all their delightful little questions. Ask away. So, like, who exactly are you guys? Well, let's just say that this is temporary for us. We're not going to be here forever. We're only going to be here until we find a real home. The word for that is foster. We are foster horses. <laughs> Wait, so you guys aren't going to be here forever? You're going to eventually leave? Unfortunately, yes. Sad, isn't it? Well, I don't mind leaving. The grass in this barn is not two inches above my hooves, and you know how I hate that. Oh, Molly, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but no one really cares about your hooves. And also, would you please stop your complaining? You're going to set bad examples for the little one. Um, well, would you guys like to go meet my brothers and sisters? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Yes, that would be amazingly extravagant and fantastic if we went and met your siblings. Sure, but I need to know their ear size before I can go talk to them because I need to stand at the perfect angle so that they can hear me just right. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't really know their ear size. Oh, baby doll, she's just being silly. I don't know what horse asked that kind of question. Now, what the heck are we waiting for? Let's go say hello to her siblings. <gasps> Nova, here they come. Magnum and Stella, come check this out. Oh, you guys are even prettier close up than you are from far away. So nice to meet you. I'm Savannah. I'm Molly. Um, yeah, it's nice to meet you too. I'm Nova. I'm Bentley. And I'm Magnum. And who's this little one over here? Oh, that's my sister, Stella. She gets kind of embarrassed around new horses. Well, uh, it's super cool that you guys are now part of our barn. Welcome. Oh, no, no. We're not staying for long. We're only here for four more days. We're foster horses. <laughs> what? What? No, I don't want you guys to leave. You guys seem so cool. 
Yes, unfortunately, we do have to leave. It's very sad. This barn is just very beautiful, and it's going to be so hard to say goodbye. Did I just see a dog walk by, or am I going crazy? Oh, hey, little one. Where in the world did you come from? Aw, she probably hasn't seen anyone in such a long time. I don't see who she could belong to. There's no one that really lives near us. No, no, Maverick, no! Oh my gosh, they seem to really like each other. Well, girl, guess you're a part of our family now. I just feel really bad for the horses. I really love them, and I know that they love it here, and I just feel really bad that they have to eventually leave. I feel like I should adopt them. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take them off the market, and I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna adopt them. Hey, girls, just took you off the market, and you are officially adopted. No way! Did you guys just hear that? We're being adopted! We're being adopted! Oh my gosh, that's the most exciting thing ever! Oh my gosh, yay! New siblings! New siblings! Wow, you guys seem very excited. Oh, and that's Dixie. Oh, Dixie. look how cute she is. She's so tiny and cute and maverick. And that's how it all worked out. That's how Savannah and Molly got adopted. The horses love their new siblings, and Molly and Savannah love it at the new barn. It all worked out perfectly, and they're all a happy family.